Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how cold it needs to be for you to be worried about your chickens out in the coop, and talk about a few reasons of why you might wanna think twice before putting a heater in there. Let's get started. I'm gonna record this one inside. It is stinking cold out there. The biggest factor for chicken safety, like we said before, is both being cold and wet. So if they're very cold, they should be fine. If they're cold and wet, that's when it could be dangerous for them. But let's say you've got the dryness part figured out, you've got your coop well ventilated, so you're not worried about them being wet, you got them out, they can get out of the rain and the snow if they need to, but you're still a little concerned about how cold it is. Well, chickens like it sunny and 75, what can I say? And honestly, they're more likely to be damaged or uh, injured in, due to overheating in the summer than freezing in the winter. They might lose a little bit of their comb to frostbite, but all in all, they should be fine as long as you've followed the steps uh, that I've put in the last video of things that you can do to keep them safe. Now most chickens can take temperatures down into the teens, get much colder than that, you might wanna consider a heat source, but I wouldn't, and here are some reasons why. Reason number one is it's a fire hazard, right? So if you put a heat lamp out there in your chicken coop filled with straw and feathers and dust, you know, something bad might happen. That's just asking for trouble. I'd rather, I'd rather worst case scenario lose a couple of chickens because it was too cold than to lose potentially the whole flock and the coop due to a fire. Reason number two is that we don't want them to become dependent on the heat source. What if we lose power and the heat source goes away and then the chickens are in for a pretty rough night when the temperature might drop 20 degrees on them and they're not ready for it, right? I'd want to have my chickens to be hardy and strong and if that means weaning out a few weak ones, well then so be it. Before I go into the next few reasons, I just want to take a minute to say thank you so much for watching the video. We put a lot of effort and energy into making these and if you take the time out of your day to watch them, we want to say thank you for that. If you're already a subscriber, that's great. If not, please consider doing so. We make videos like this every week. Margie is someone who started following us a few months ago, and I love getting her comments and, and getting her feedback from our videos. Thank you so much, Margie L. Reason number three is the temperature difference that might exist between the coop and the run. If it's too great, the, their bodies may not acclimate well as they go from the warmer temperatures to the colder temperatures. Also, it might keep them in the coop when what I really want is the chickens to be out in the run foraging for food, scratching around, and being a chicken. Reason number four is moisture. We've talked about the importance of keeping a chicken dry. So if you were to button up the coop and put a heater in there, what you're gonna do is increase the humidity. And that is a no-no for chicken safety. Reason number five is it simply isn't necessary. These chickens have been around since long before we've had heaters and long before homesteaders like us were building little houses for them to live in. Right, so they're, they're a flock animal and they're gonna huddle together and, and provide the warmth that they need. I measured the temperature last night and it was about three or four degrees warmer inside the coop than it was outside the coop. That's here in central Maryland. A dry coop is just fine for us here. If you lived in Canada or Alaska or somewhere where it gets very, very cold, you might wanna consider insulating the walls with some hay or double walled insulation with construction grade stuff in there. Um, maybe making a better windbreak, but make sure you don't block out the ventilation. Or you could also uh, build a smaller, a smaller area so that the, ch the chickens could huddle together and get warmer that way. Those are other options. If you want to hear a few more winter chicken tips, I'll put a link on the screen here. I'll also put a link uh, to a no freeze chicken water that I made that you can follow along with if you want. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Their little bodies might not be able to metabolize the food they have well enough and they could die. I don't know if that's true, how that works.